Hello math lovers, welcome to a new series dedicated to equations. Here we consider linear equations and proportions like equations. That's very like basics for those students who first attempt to, to solve um, uh, algebra in GCC. And then we continue to quadratic equations and powers more than two. All right, so first of all, we need to understand what equation looks like and what it, what it is by its nature. And then we move to several examples, okay? So one more time, this video is real, um, just uh, very basics of how to solve standard linear equations. And here I will give you a shortcut and fast uh, pass and fast track how to do it like technically without actually um, trying to, you know, memorize very complicated way of how many teachers explain here, all right? So first of all, equation. It just, it comes from, sometimes it comes from word problems, for example, like distance travel uh, problems, or might be problems about, you know, percentages, about mixtures, about, I don't know, whatever. So actually it comes from uh, different sort of word problems and uh, you need just to convert words into mathematical writings, okay? And obviously in equation there should be some variable x or y or anything else that you need to find, okay? So that's why we can define equation as two expressions uh, that might contain some variables connected with the quality sign. For example, 2x plus 3 equals 4. So that's the first algebraic expression. This is the second, just the number. And they connect it with a quality sign. Okay. So in any equation, there should be the variable. For example, 2 plus 3 equals 5 is not an equation because it doesn't contain any variable. You cannot see any unknown, right? Every term is known, it's just number. And instead of equation, you should rather say that this is equality, okay? But here, an equation, because it contains variable x. All right, that's the one of the example uh, of typical equation, and this equation is linear. So, uh, to understand what linear equation is, it's just equation that contains a variable in the power of one. So you see that imaginary, we understand that the power of x is just one, but we don't mention it because it's silly to put a power one, with the, which is simply uh, mean that this is like in the power of one, but we don't write it, okay? This is very the same as you take square root of, let's say four, uh, and you don't write that this, the power of this root is two. That's typically the same. So mathematicians uh, have specific notations about how to uh, denote some sort of, you know, symbols. And in this case, they just write in square root, meaning that the power of this root is two, but they don't write. So power one is also, they understand, they understand that they should be the power one, but they don't write. This is one of the example of linear equation, but there might be also several variations. Let's say two over five x plus two equals let's say five x. In this case, the reason unknown. It's just one variable. Don't mess up. There are not two, just one variable here and here, but just on two sides of equations, right? And that means that. Anyway, you need to find just single variable. So the general question is how to solve linear equation. So you need to understand how to apply like general approach in order to solve. And the fast track here is to basically collect all the variables in one side and all numbers in the other side. So that's why I'll try to explain why it's so possible. Why you can collect? What does it mean collect? I mean, you need to transfer. So, for example, let's consider this equation. 
in order to find x, first of all, you need to find 2x, right? Because the variable and the number, which basically multiplying to each other, there, uh, they, you should consider them as the single element. So basically, this is the single element that you want to find. But you also have numbers. And what I'm saying to collect numbers, I'm saying that you need to collect them on one side of the equation. So any equation have left side, it's called left hand side, and right hand side. Okay, LHS and RHS. So it means that in this case, your unknown with two is actually here in the left hand side. And that's why all numbers you need to collect in the right hand side. So that's why you need to transfer your three to the right side. Why I am eligible to do this? Okay, so let's have an analogy with with a scale or balance. So basically, we take the scale, two plates basically, and on the left scale, we have some 2x, let's say this sort of weight or load, and also three, I just present as three small, like, Balls, let's say, and on the right side we have actually four, just four balls. So the weight of each ball is the same, okay? Because this is an equality, I mean equality, right? Uh, and this is an equation, uh, you can say that your scale are in balance. So it means if you, for example, take away one ball from the right scale, from the right, from the right plate, you will basically change the balance. And now they will be imbalanced. Okay? So that's why you're not eligible to do that because you still need to have equation, right? I mean, you need to keep the balance. So that's why by saying that you need to transfer three to the right side, that many teachers explain you, this is actually fair for mathematical way, but here is a little explanation why you're eligible to do that. So, what if we grab all three balls from left plate? Of course, the balance will be changed. However, if you do the same simultaneously and take away all those three from right side, from the right plate, the balance will be kept, right? It means two plates will be still in the balance. And in this case, you just basically eliminate three from both sides, okay? So technically it means that if you have two x plus three equals four, what actually you did you took away from both sides of the equation three. So that means mathematically you subtract three from both sides, okay? Take away means you subtracting, okay? So what will happen? According to just simple arithmetic, you understand that only two x will be left on left-hand side and four minus three will give you one. And have a look at the at the, at, the, at the balance. So the balance is kept and what actually left on the right side is just one ball. While 2x is one single like weight or load is left on the left hand side. That's what it means. Okay. So right now we are here. Okay. So in order to find x we just simply understand that if 2x correspond to one single ball, looks like 1x is just equivalent to a half of a small ball, okay? So, so that if you add two x's, so you need to add two halves together in order to get the whole ball, which is on the right plate, okay? So basically, it means that 2x is an equivalent to one ball and 1x is equivalent to a half of this ball. 
But technically, what it means? In order to find x, you just simply need to divide by 2. So actually, you do uh, arithmetic operation divide by 2. So you split this right ball in two halves. And now you understand that now you have correspondence, right? So x plus x, so you can write even like this, x plus x, that means 2x together, right, equals to 2 halves together, all right? And that's why what stays for each x, just one half, okay? But technically, in mathematics, you apply division. So it means that you're eligible to do everything so that you're still have a balance. So before we considered that you can subtract or take away any number that you like, and you also can divide, right, in two parts on, you, you may say that on any number, right? What if, for example, we had a balance between 4x and let's say just one ball. So this is the balance. So basically in terms of equation, we have the following, 4x equals one. So what we can do, we understand because there are four x, so basically we can say that you need to add four x's together, right? So in order to find one x, so mathematically you can divide one by four, and hence you will find that x is just one quarter, right? But visually means that you need to split your ball on two, four equal parts so that each part stays for each x, right? So you see the analogy and that's why what actually happened in here in mathematical terms. Okay, so one more time to recap, in order to solve simple linear equation that is set up like 2x plus 3, let's say, equals 5, you just simply need to subtract from both parts this number in order to collect, uh, in order to leave uh, just variable in one side, okay? And you're eligible to subtract this number from both sides. So I subtract 3 from both sides. It means on the right side, I will have 5 minus 3, okay? which is 2, and now you can go back to analogy, but if you understand mathematically what to do, that's simply you need to divide by 2, so 2 by 2, which is 1, or visually means you have correspondence, so 2x balanced with two balls, and that's why for each x we'll have just one ball or I don't know why unit one unit okay so that's technically but I recommend to you use another approach I mean uh, once you once you get the basics why we can do that so I advise you to uh, recognize and perceive that in in the following way for example Remember first, uh, at the very beginning, I told you that you can transfer and collect all numbers in one side and you also can transfer variables to the other side. So, so technically means that instead of subtracting negative three from both sides, I understand that this will give you a zero, right? So technically uh, you subtract 3 just from the right side and make your 3 minus 3 to be 0, right? But if we want to, like, you know, uh, to do it very fast, in a very fast way, what actually we need to do? We need to say that we take this 3 and the sign before a number always like stick to this number, so for example, this is plus, it means you have positive three, and you just simply take this and transfer it to the right side, 
and simultaneously you need to change the sign into the opposite. So okay? Because you transfer this three, there is no three anymore. While here on the right side you will get negative three. Okay? This is the other understanding how it can be done. So basically you transfer numbers or unknowns variables into other side okay and you change the sign that's the significant like words and um, you need to keep in mind that you need to always change the sign when you transfer through the equality sign okay yeah and finally you'll get the same answer here so x equals one so choose your approach how you maybe understand in the simplest way. So first try to check it and try to analyze which way is the most for you, which is the most preferable way. And But I think when you just grow up, so I think in the middle of GCC examination and in the middle of GCC program, you just need to be able to do that in this manner because it definitely relieve your life okay so let's consider another examples where you have let's say negative unknown you have 2 minus 3x say equals equals 6 okay what to do in this way in this and in this case what to do so as I told you, if you apply this method of transferring, so it's always better to keep your variable with positive sign. So that's why I don't want to transfer 2 to the right side, because I'm left with negative 3x in this case, and I'll have 6 minus 2. And I'm not like, I'm not. Uh, it's not convenient to have negative 3x, right? It's better to have 3x positive. So that's why what actually you need to do, instead of transferring 2 and collecting numbers in the right side, you better transfer variable, because this is a single variable, uh, because it has negative sign. And when you transfer it, it will change the sign to the positive, okay? So that's why instead of this, We'll have the following 2, and when negative 3x will be transferred to the right side, there is nothing left here, and we have 3x as positive. Okay, but you don't want to have plus 6, yeah, because we understand we don't write the sign here, it means it's positive 6 anyway, so that's why we're writing plus 6 plus 6, not multiply, there is no multiplication, okay? So that's why, what I want to do, instead of keeping this 6 here, I simultaneously transfer 6 to the left side. And in this case, I will have 2 minus 6, okay? Now, I see, let's remember a scale, I see that we have 3x here, and 2 minus 6 means negative 4. So I don't care about whether it's negative, whether it's positive. So in terms of like negative numbers, it's hard to put like analogy with, you know, with some stuff, with some, with some things, uh, because you always consider like counting for like, you know, positive numbers. If you want to count like things, you represent always as positive numbers. In this case, we have negative 4, but anyway, so we'll get negative 4 equals to 3x. Can you swap them, for example, so that 3x be on this plate and negative 4 be on that plate? Just, can we swap them? Yes, because in this case, we still have the balance. So all plates will be balanced. So why I'm doing that? Because normally we 
addicted to the writings x equal to something, right? Instead of like something equals to x. So that's why it's better and logically to swap them and say that now 3x is on the left plate. No change in sign actually, right? Because what actually we're doing, we, we, do, we so it doesn't matter what's on the left side, what's on the right, because we simply swap them, we don't change the sign. Of course, technically we can do, right? For example, if you just go and stick to this way when we transfer through the quality, we need to change the sign. However, look what happened if we do in this way. So 3x goes here, transfer, and change the sign, right? And 4, negative 4, goes to the right side, and again, it changed the sign to the opposite, so you'll get 4. What we can do, we can multiply both equations by any number, right? Remember, we use division, so multiplication as well as possible. So we can multiply by negative 1, both sides. In this case, you will get 3x equals negative 4. And this is what exactly we got by just swapping objects on the plates, okay? So that's why you're eligible to do that. And instead of doing like two steps with a multiplication, it's better to say that it doesn't matter like where's 3x, on the right side or on the left side, because it's just swapping. Okay, so that's why better to just rewrite so that 3x becomes on the left side and again negative 4 on the right side. Okay, and the last step, we used division before, so we do the same here. So we split on 2, like on 3 equal parts, so each part is negative 4 over 3, okay? Because you remember that actually 3x is just x plus x plus x equals negative 4. Yeah, I understand that in this case it's harder to like provide some analogy because again it's negative number and by the way 4 is not like divisible fully by 3 so you just leave as the fractional number and that will be the answer. In case you want to convert to decimal, no problem, you just use the calculator and, and divide or just do it, you know, using call methods so technically and manually can be done, no problem. All right? So that was the basics about equations. We consider only like first type that is linear and so pretty simple. Uh, later on, so next video, I'll show you how to cope with several variables, okay? How to combine them and because this video is really for, you know, for basics, for this is like sort of uh, for starters who just start doing, who, who start doing like uh, basic algebra. And I hope I clarify the concept and show you analogy with the scale and explain why we're eligible to transfer numbers or parts of, of the equation to other sides and why we need to change the sign, okay? So keep track and you'll, you'll be more educated, okay? Thanks, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share this page or this video to, you know, to others who are really interested and you'll be in touch with me and the latest updates. See you.